Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to today's video. It's gonna be an ultimate spring decorating with me. This is gonna be in all different houses with all different budgets, even some different styles in there. You guys know I stick with neutrals, but if you're wanting to decorate your house or get motivated or just see different ways you can decorate, this video is gonna be perfect for you. So if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when I post but let's get to decorating. The first place we're gonna start is my daughter's bathroom. She was wanting to replace her shower curtain, but we had to get a few um, just because the first option didn't work out and I'm about to explain to you why. Okay, I got it hung up, but we don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. She doesn't like it. We thought the color would go better because it matches this rug, but with the wall still gray, it's not going to work. I think if our walls were white, we could pull it off. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the gray one back up and then we'll figure something else out. In my head, we'd go white, but she doesn't really want a white shower curtain just because they get dirty. So we'll eventually figure it out, but we know what color we don't want now. <laughs> So that was a bust. So the gray one's back up, but we'll find another one to get ordered. That's the one I have to return now. But I wanted to give you just a little decorating tip. This is a shelf she had in her bedroom and she took it down because she was, let's just say it's just switching like her mother. And I suggested moving it in here with like her products and we love it. So it's very visual. These are the things she loves. She loves shopping for skincare. She just loves skincare in general. And so now she can see um, some of her items and it makes it pretty. It makes it fun to walk into her bathroom. So if your kids have a collection of something, think about these shelves. Or if you have lack of storage in your bathroom, um, you could get some type of system like this so they can see what they have, they can use it. And like I said before, it's just great storage. Okay, now I want to work on getting all the towels cleaned. So I did order these off Amazon. Once I get them washed, I'll let you know what I think. But I love that they're gray, but they have this like detail in them. So I'm going to go ahead and open up all of these boxes and get them washed. So then I can put them throughout the house and all the bathrooms. Um, this is a good time to update your towels. I know it's not something we do often, like years and years and years. But if you're going to do it, I don't know, spring just seems like a nice time if you need new sheets or bedding or pillows or towels. It's just nice to like start off real nice and fresh. Okay, so honestly, we go through towels here, I feel like pretty often. Most people buy their towels and they stick with them. I've always just gone into Ross and kind of bought the cheapest gray towel I could find. And I'm learning, I'm kind of wasting more money doing that. Um, maybe that's me and how I'm taking care of them, I'll find out. But since um, switching to these, it has made a huge difference. Um, we've been using these since I filmed this video and I'm super happy with the quality. They just feel very like luxurious, but they're not like over soft, they like work, they don't shed, um, they dry really easily. Like sometimes I hang my towel and reuse it the next day and they dry out super quick, no smells or anything like that. So if you're wanting to get just a little bit nicer towel, I am gonna link these down below um, in my description box so you can check them out. I know for a lot of people, January can be the time of year for like a reset or a refresh, but I feel like spring is a good time too. So if you missed that <laughs> during January, don't feel like you're stuck. Go ahead and reset your house, reset some routines, reset um, like workout videos or your eating habits, whatever it is. 
Um, this time of year, you can also have a little refresh as well. I feel like starting with your home really does carry over into your mood and your headspace. So think about just getting some fresh towels or maybe a hand towel or a new pillowcase or bedding, whatever you can afford, but I promise you it will help just kind of with your mind shift. Okay, so I have this load started. I will say I have a really big washer um, with like a deep bowl in it and I took out the agitator, but these are still really good sized towels. So I only put in half. So I'll just keep this going until it's finished, but I didn't wanna like put too much in it because that really filled that up pretty quickly. Next up is the dining room and we've already done a few changes in here. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, you kind of already know what's going on, but basically I used to have this table shoved up basically to the window. So like this was touching the window and when people would come over, I would just pull it out. Um, but it was starting to drive me crazy and it just feels like it fits the space better if I pull it out. The problem was this light was like over here. So when I pulled it out, the chandelier was hanging to the left of the table. So we got that fixed. <laughs> If you look real close, you guys probably can't see it on camera, but it's like right there. So we moved it over and it looks so much better. The space works better for this long table because this was all dead space over here anyways. But now I'm trying to figure out what to do with the photos. So either I'm gonna keep the three and just like center them. So I'll move them all down to the right or I ran to Target and grabbed one more. Either way, we'll have to take all these down to like realignment, but I didn't know if four would look good. I have such a thing with three and then decorating in odd numbers, but these are all our favorite places to vacation. And the one that's missing is the mountains because we hadn't taken Savannah yet, but we're taking her this summer. So all honesty, I'd love to put like a mountain picture in here and then hang up four. So I think we're gonna try that today. I'm just gonna have to see it. <laughs> I've had this for quite a few days and I just can't make up my mind. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. It is so, <laughs> so cheap to do. Um, people always wanna know where I get these pictures and where I have them printed. This is literally on typing paper and I just Google a picture and then turn it black and white, print it out, super easy, super affordable. So let me find a good picture of like where we're gonna be staying or going to, and I'll show you how to put it into this frame. Okay, so you could totally take your own photo. It's just we're not going there for a few months and I wanna get it hung up. So you can just Google wherever you're going or whatever kind of photo you like and then click on it. And on my phone, if I just hold the photo down, it comes up um, download image. And so it just saves it to my camera roll. Okay, so now I have it opened up in my photos and I'm gonna click edit. And then down here, it's been a while since I've done this, you're gonna click these like three circles and there's all different filters you can choose from. And so I just choose one of the black and white ones. I think it's normally that very first one right there. And then all I'm gonna do is say done. So it saves it and then I'm gonna go print this out on my printer. So sometimes we can print straight from our phone to our printer, but other times it doesn't wanna work. So we just emailed it to us and we're gonna print it from the computer to the printer. So it'll just be however your setup is at your house. Time stops. When we're alone, you got my love, don't let it go, feels like we're paper thin, one step away from caving in, when you're out with all the wild roads. So once that got printed, I ran back to my laundry room just to switch the load of towels so I can put those um, away later in the day and you also want to give the paper just a few minutes to dry out especially if you have like a lot of dark ink on it since I do black and white and there were trees in this photo there was like a lot of black ink so just let it dry out a little bit it can also dry while you're taking like the frame apart so you can put it in um, I show you step by step what I do here 
Right here, I was just making sure it was the same size so I knew it was gonna work well. It may take a few times. Like the first time I did this, it took a while to figure out the right size, but when you're doing your like printing settings, you can choose what size you need, so just keep that in mind. So here is what it looks like finished. Sorry, I know there's kind of a glare, but they look very, very high end and professional and it's literally a Google picture printed on typing paper. So nothing special. We'll get it hung up there. Um, I will link these frames for you. I have a few different sizes of them throughout my house and they're from Target. They're a tad bit pricier. If you have an Ikea near you, they're way, way, way cheaper there. Um, I grabbed some for our Airbnb that we had originally and they had really good prices. It's just once we got home, I started putting them in my house and we don't have one close. But if you have an Ikea, definitely go there first. If not, Target will help you. Okay, Chase is gonna come in here and get these hung for me. <laughs> The bad thing with these to move them, it's so much easier when they just have like one thing right here and you just have four nails, but these actually hang on both. So we're gonna have to move all six of those nails and then add two more. So just getting like the perfect gap can be tricky. I mean, Chase can totally do it if it was me. I don't know, I would find a different way to hang them. I would probably add one of the hooks on the back right there. I know a lot of people say to do like command strips and all that. I just don't want these to like fall or break or anything and he doesn't mind doing it. But we're gonna shift all three of these to the left a little bit and then add the fourth one and I'm hoping it still looks okay and it's not like too busy. Okay, so we just figured out the order. I forgot to pick up my camera. So two of these pictures are a little bit darker because they have trees in them. And so I didn't want like two darks and two lights. So we have like light, dark, light, dark. Maybe that's me being OCD. Is it? What's <laughs> Okay. Um, no, he's just standing there. He's being a white right now. So <laughs> this is just like our entryway. There's like multiple centers. It depends on which angle. Like center, center, I'd have to be right here and I'm literally stuck up against the wall. Maj the majority of the time, we're gonna be like off at an angle and so it looks way off, but it's not. Cause like if you line up with, see right there with the chandelier, it's perfect. So don't come at me. <laughs> if I'm filming and it looks off, it's not. <laughs> Like right here, just it seems way off to me. But, but here's our problem. These three I've had for a while. This one's new and they have new hooks on the back in a different spot. Yeah. So you guys asked me how we hang them evenly. Normally Chase would take this down and measure from the ceiling down to the nail and he'd know exactly the level to hang it. Yeah. But this one this one's different. This one's different. Like I hung this one on those nails and it dropped down below. It the is like about like that if we were to do it. The same as the others. So this we kind of have to fiddle with because we don't know exactly how to give it even. So I'll just mess with it. So he's going to mess with it. Oh, and by the way, you guys always ask me what this is right here. I have no idea. I don't know why our builder did this I to see. us. I think it was decorative, like, yeah, it's decorative. because this is angled right here. And so he just carried it on and then randomly ended it in the wall. I wish he would have ended it here or finished it out because when we're coming up with ideas for an accent wall right here, everything I wanted to do that went up to the ceiling, we couldn't do because of that, but it's okay. When I was in the attic, I didn't see anything up there. So can I knock it down? Just drywall work. If we yeah. ever run into him, he sometimes comes through the neighborhood. I want to like chase him down yeah. because you guys are dying to know what color this floor is. We've asked him 5,000 times and never got a message. And I want to be like, can I knock this out and repaint it? <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe one day. But until then, we're making it work. But I think the floor is good. I mean, I love, I just love threes. We're a family of three. And then Savannah and her two. Cousins are always here in three. When she has friends, it's always, I don't know. There's just something about threes. 
so four's throwing me, but I feel like it's gonna make this room like extend out. And when we get finished with the accent wall in here one day, I don't know when it's gonna be, but I have an idea, I have a plan, and I can't wait to do it. Until then, we're just gonna hang the frame. Okay, so here it is finished. Just a tiny little refresh. Did not take too much time or effort. Um, it's just amazing what some photos can do on a wall. So if you guys are trying to fill up a bare space and you don't wanna do like an accent wall. So this is Arizona, just in case you're wondering. Georgia, Florida, and Colorado. Okay, so I still have some pieces to put out. I haven't really decorated much. I have these new hand towels. I thought these were so pretty, um, and I love the like polka dot theme on it, and they're all different shades of gray. So just keep in mind, when you're decorating for any holiday, it doesn't have to be super themey, especially for spring. It's just freshening things up. I got this three pack for $9.99 from Home Goods and we can use these all year long. So you don't have to spend money on things you're only gonna use for a few months. Get pieces that will last if you want to, but then you can have a few, like the sign was only $14.99, and then I love to do hand soaps. I feel like it's a really affordable way um, to add in like a seasonal theme without spending a ton of money. Like this one was $3.99, and then I thought this set would be really cute for my kitchen. But as you can see, there's like not a lot of pastels. It still goes with my home. I'm trying to find a price. It's upside down, but it was only $8.99. <laughs> and then I picked up this from Target. I thought it was adorable. This is how I like to decorate for holidays. It matches my home, but it has a flare. So it's got the little bunny ears. I don't know, I thought this was perfect. And it was $5. And then I had mentioned these earlier. But in case you're wondering about price, where is it? Oh, right there. They're only, focus, focus, $8.99. And these look really good on the back of toilets. That's where I'm gonna actually put it. Savannah grabbed this once and she put a toilet paper roll in it. You can even put a little spray and it fits perfectly. So this is even really good for teacher's gifts just to put a few things in. So if you ever find those, grab them. And then the other few things I have, I found this rug at Kirkland's and I thought it was perfect because it's still on theme with like the black and just neutral colors. And then from Target for our swing outside on our front porch. I thought those were cute to put on them. hand soap is so easy to find. I feel like any store you're gonna walk into, you're gonna find it. Ross and like TJ Maxx and Home Goods is my favorite spot because typically I can get a set like this for like $8.99. If you don't want the lotion and you just want a bottle, typically you can get it between like four and five dollars. Um, I recently took Savannah into Bath and Body Works and I noticed they even have a really cute Easter themed hand soap. So if you like 
um, that better and you like those strong scents, definitely check them out. But I feel like it's just a really easy, affordable way to enjoy and decorate for spring or whatever holiday you're working on. Plus the scents are so nice. I feel like hand soap bottles get dirty anyway, so it's just kind of fun to change them out. Another tip for when you're going to be spring decorating or any holiday for that matter is you're going to have to start buying those pieces earlier or they're going to sell out by the time you need them, especially if you're wanting like neutral decor and things that aren't as expected. Those pieces get grabbed first by people like me. Like I've had this in my closet for over a month and I just put it in there because I know I'm going to use it. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're needing new pieces. Just a little tip, I try to share this often. Um, a lot of these come in two packs and they're matching and these are great hand towels for a bathroom. They dry out quicker and they always have way more detail. Um, and so if you're ever needing just like cute bathroom hand towels, I suggest getting a kitchen towel. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take these outside. But what's funny was two days ago it was 70 degrees and in two more days it's gonna be 70 degrees again but it actually snowed today. It's melted a lot, but we literally woke up to this like covered in snow and I'm decorating for spring, but it is spring and in two days it's gonna be warm again, but I don't know, weather everywhere is just insane. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and act like it's warm and put out my spring outside decor. I'm gonna put my spring pillows <laughs> on my swing that has snow and ice on it. And we're just gonna pretend like it's super warm out here because when you guys are watching this, it will be. <laughs> oh yeah, I think that looks good. What do you guys think? While I'm working on folding these towels, I wanted to give you another tip just in case you're on a tighter budget or you're just really crafty. Um, you don't have to buy all brand new home decor or seasonal decor. Just use what you have. Say it's not your style this year. I am a huge believer in a can of spray paint. Whatever color that is in your house, go for it. Some years for me it's white, some years it's been pink, some years it's been gold. This year, if you're staying up to date, I've been spray painting everything black. Um, say you don't even have any, start checking garage sales when you're out garage selling this summer and put those away for the holidays. You can run into Goodwills and just kind of look at the shape because if you can spray paint it, it's gonna look completely different when you're done. So just see if you like the shape of it because you can always update it with paint and it's gonna look so nice in your house and you don't have to spend an arm and a leg doing it. Now I will say this is gonna be the first time that Savannah has matching towels to our towels. I don't see it being a major issue just because I do our laundry separate. Um, if they do get mixed up, once again, it's the same towel. I can just make sure we both have some, but since I do our laundry separate, I don't see it being a huge deal. And then if we do need extra or I got her too many, I can put them in ours. So I feel like it's gonna work out really well. I think it's just my time.
Okay, so I feel like these are gonna hold up very, very well. Um, I actually used one this morning in the shower and I really liked it. Like it dried really well, it's soft, but it's still like just super good quality. Um, so I'm happy with these so far. I can keep you updated if you guys wanna know, but just having what is that six in there, it fills up my cabinet pretty well. And I do laundry often, so I don't think I'll, like we'll need more than that because I never wash my hair every day. And then Savannah has six and I have three left over. So I'll probably put these in like the guest bedroom closet. I like to keep separate towels for my guests. That way if someone shows up like unexpectedly or I just forget to do laundry, they have nice clean towels that like my whole family hasn't been using. So I'm gonna go stick these in that closet. And just in case you're wondering what I'm doing with all the original towels, just like with blankets, I cannot get rid of a towel or a blanket. Now I'll save those and then if I'm doing a painting project or the dogs need something extra and then it gets destroyed, I don't mind throwing it away, but I cannot give up a good <laughs> towel even though they're kind of getting older. So I'll just stick them out in my garage and use them as needed and then once they get dirty, stained or whatever the issue is, I can get rid of them at that point. Now this isn't the perfect guest bedroom closet. I used to have a way better setup um, in our last house, but I feel like we really don't have company anymore. If my sister and brother-in-law do come, I will pull out some of like our personal stuff in here. But right now um, we have extra like work bins in here and Savannah's dance stuff's off to the side. But this whole center wall is for them and I have extra like supplies and bedding and all the things they might need. Okay, I wanted to update you on the weather. So yesterday when we woke up, we had like three inches of snow. And then by the time I took you outside, it was already starting to melt. But this is the next day and look, all the snow <laughs> is gone. And it's like in the 50s and then tomorrow's in the 70s. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I'm so thankful <laughs> that the warmer weather's coming back. It feels more like spring. Hello guys, we are back. This is like day three of filming this video. Just taking a little longer than normal, but I had Savannah pick out another shower curtain um, and then Chase ordered it. I'm shocked because it's actually white. I could have swore I heard her say she didn't want white, but I think after she realized the gray wasn't working and the tan didn't work, she probably just like gave in. So we have that to try out. And then I had him order me a new liner as well, just cause she's had the same one since we moved in and it was getting dirty. I did wanna mention it shows it's non-toxic. Um, so if you're needing a shower liner, I'll have um, Chase link both of these for you down below my description box. But let's get both of these put on and I'm curious to see what this looks like. So before I put this up, I wanted to show you, it does come with white hooks. So if you're ordering this curtain and you don't have white, it comes with them. Um, she actually prefers the clear just because of the gold rod. So I'm gonna use those, but I just wanna let you know, just in case you decide to order it. what it looks like of course it has tons of ruffles it's a little wrinkled as you can see but it's really not that bad I honestly think after a few hot showers 
it'll be fine. If it's not, I'll come steam it then, but I'm definitely gonna wait it out because she takes a long showers. <laughs> so I honestly think that's just gonna release super easy and it might do it on its own anyway. I will say it matches better. I know on camera it's coming off like way, way wider than the rest of the room. It's not as dramatic in person. I'm gonna have to find a way to bring in this tan color because she loves this rug. So I don't wanna make her get rid of it, but I still feel like I haven't found a way to like tie it in yet. But I wanted to show you, that's what it looks like. It looks really good and I do, I like all the ruffles. It just kinda adds some texture in here. Okay, funny story. I came in here to look at extra <laughs> decor um, to add to Savannah's bathroom to see if I could make everything tie in. And I found another whole bag of Easter decor. So I'm not done decorating and I have some good stuff. I actually think this will look better where I put the spring sign um, like above my stove. I have these cute little white bunnies and then this piece. So we're not done yet. Let's go decorate just a little bit more. I'm so glad I didn't end this video a few days ago. As much as I loved the word spring up here, I felt like it was really like blending in with the background and you didn't notice it, but it wasn't bothering me too bad. But now that I found this piece, I feel like it does look a little better in here. It is a tad bit farmhousey, but I just don't mind it if it's seasonal decor because it won't be up too long anyway. Okay, I am so glad I found that extra bag of decor. I don't even remember buying it, but I feel like this little bunny is perfect for spring. I mean, if you don't like bunnies, you don't have to put them out, but I feel like when you have kids, it's just kind of fun to do, you know, just holiday theme stuff. And I think it's just enough. And then over here, I feel like this looks so much better than the spring. So I'm gonna have to find a spot for the spring now, but I feel like that's super cute. What do you guys think? Here are the cute little bunnies. I think when I bought them, I intended to spray paint them black, but I will say I'm thinking about putting them here and I kind of like them white. You guys will have to let me know when you guys are seeing this video. It's like super windy today. So if I spray paint these, it'll have to be another day anyway. But let me know down below in the comments if I should leave them white or go ahead and spray paint them black. Um, I've got some cleaning and decorating to get done today. You're gonna see spaces like this that look nice and tidy. And then you're gonna see other spaces today that look like this. So we just got back from a dance competition. I've been gone for like several hours the last couple days. Um, I need to get laundry done. I threw clothes in here this morning. I just need to get it started. I didn't want it to run while I was gone. So like what clothes wouldn't be stuck in there. I have this load to get done, two probably loads of this. I need to clean that out. Like I said, we've got decorating, so let's get into it. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I have two new videos every single week and I'd love for you to join our community here. And if you enjoyed today's video, definitely give it a thumbs up and check out all my other videos here on my channel. The first place I started was my daughter's dance bag just because it was right in the middle of my mudroom um, and I was taking everything out of it that needed to be washed or that can be washed. Any items that I use in my house weekly that um, I just stick in the bag just in case we might need it. Um, I had been doing the loads when we would come home in the evening, so some of her like pantyhose or tights were already clean, so I was putting those away. Um, but I swear, I go into a dance competition so organized, so prepared, and by the time I leave, my bag is a disaster. Um, but I guess that's what it's like being a dance mom. My washer's still going. I completely got sidetracked and forgot that I didn't even finish up in here. But while I'm decorating, I've really been wanting to add something like green up here, like greenery. So I think one of those vases with the greenery in it would look really good. I'll have to do this top shelf because this is too small, but I'm gonna mess around with this now. 
I think since it's already so dark in there, I'm not gonna use that. I like this better for the living room. So I think I'm gonna try this one and I'll probably add a little gold in there because there's just a lot of like black, white, and gray. So I think like all of this right here will look really good in there just to kind of add some contrast and make it look more like springy. I think that looks so good together. And you guys can see, I never cut my greenery <laughs> just in case I wanna use this in a different vase, say like this one, I would need it to be longer. So if I cut it, I'd be stuck working with that length where if you just bend it, you can always just straighten it out, make it shorter, make it longer. And it just saves you having to buy this all the time. This greenery right here is actually really good. I'm trying to stick away from like the really dark greenery, especially for spring. I just feel like this is really pretty. It lightens things up. So super happy with that, but I'll definitely have that link down below. I had been wanting to add some greenery in here for a while, but I didn't want that like dark green greenery. Um, since this wall is already painted black, I felt like I needed something lighter. I love, love, love the cream vase on it. I love the texture. I love the color of it. Um, I love how it and the greenery pops off of that black wall. And it always amazes me, even though I do this for a living, how just like a few new pieces can make the space just feel fresh again. And I feel like that's what springtime's all about. To get those shelves cleaned, I've already deep cleaned these for spring cleaning. Now I added a few new pieces and that's all it took and it just makes the space feel new again and it makes me fall back in love with my home. Now I'm gonna take that concrete vase and add it to my mantle. Um, I had been wanting something concrete to go up here and I could not find the right piece. I didn't know what I needed. Um, so this ended up being perfect. I even loved the shape of it as well. But as you can see, it just kind of fell off. So I just grabbed some more greenery, stuck it in that one. Especially around springtime, I feel like it's okay to have more greenery or flowers in your house because that's what's happening outdoors. So you can definitely bring it inside to your indoors. Do not forget to check out Wayfair's 72 hour March clear out sale with items up to 60% off plus fast shipping. You can check out their website or they have an app as well. Their link will be down below in my description box. And thanks again to Wayfair for sponsoring today's video. If you don't own like small cutting boards yet, highly, highly suggested. They're just so nice to pull out, especially if you're just like cutting an apple or a banana or something small, and then you can leave it on it and just take it with you and set it out wherever you need it. So these are really nice to have. I went ahead and took them out of here because I felt like the layering was too much, but I love, love, love getting this like lighter oak color right now just because that's what I'm doing in the new house. But I think I'm gonna use these somewhere else. These are really good for layering as well. So this would look really good with like your soaps on it, candles, anything like that, that you want to like protect a countertop or coffee table. These are going to protect it and it's gonna look really nice and just add a lot of interest and dimension to it as well. One thing on my mind, uh-huh, baby, one day I'm hoping that you will be I wanted to show you how to use these in a few spaces. So like I said, you can actually use them as cutting boards. I also like to put them underneath um, like soaps and even candles, but I feel like this looks so good. It adds a lot of interest. It adds that natural look, some warmth. You can have a little candle next to it. I feel like it just works really well in spaces like this. but now we are gonna finish cleaning up the rest of the house. So normally George is really good. If I put a blanket out when we're gonna be gone for a long time, he'll just stay on the blanket. He's really good about that. <laughs> Not today. I will say we've been leaving him every day. Like I've had our parents <laughs> checking in on them, but we were gone like 14 hours yesterday at a comp. Today we were not gone near as long. 
but at our last house and last sectional, he loved laying up there. So you can tell that is not from Tiger. That's from George, but it's okay. I will say this sectional, I have to fluff more often than my previous one. I love both, but there's just something so cozy about this sectional. I think it helps that the seat cushions are like way deeper than the last and like the tops, like the top cushions aren't like overly stuffed so you can just like sink down in them. I don't know, it's like so easy to take a nap on and I'm like not a nap person at all, but I've really enjoyed this new sectional. And as you can see, my rug is missing again. I had taken it out for Christmas because my sister's puppy was coming into town and then we put it back out and then he came back into town. Um, so I took it away and then he might be coming in for spring break. So I decided just to leave it out and then I'll put it in before we list our house. Now we're gonna go back into my laundry room slash mud room and try to tackle this space and get it done. I talk about this all the time. This is like my drop zone. This is the space that gets cluttered the most. Um, you know, everybody has a spot in their house. Sometimes it's your island, sometimes it's your guest bedroom. I feel like since this is where we come in the house and we leave our house, I just feel like it is just always full of something and it's just easy to put stuff down because of the bench. So I'm constantly just clearing out this space. I always love when like spring and summer hit right here in my mud room because I get to clear off this bench. I feel like in the dead of winter, we have so many different kinds of coats out here because different looks or like different degrees of how cold it is. Do we need a light jacket, a warm jacket? So I feel like this space is just like overwhelmed and cluttered. But as it starts to warm up, we like hang up the jackets in our closet. So it's so nice when it can just look nice and decorated and we're almost there. I think there's one coat left from Chase, um, but before long that will be put away too. Baby, strike up close. I'm starting to feel better. I feel like messes are getting picked up. So this whole area is clean. <laughs> this area is clean and decorated. It looks so good. I love those just finishing details that needed it. Now it's just laundry and that's just like a waiting game. <laughs> this has about 30 minutes left and then I'll start working my way through. This may not even get finished today, but I am gonna get as much done as possible. I'm actually like out of socks and <laughs> we have one towel left. Like I said, it was a crazy dance comp weekend. So I'm gonna get through that as much as possible. Typically, I'm always happy with just one washer and dryer, but there's like a few times in the year I'm like, it'd be so nice to have two washers and two dryers. Are you guys with me? Being pretty much out of the house all weekend, I felt like I didn't get to wipe down my countertops at all, and that's something I like to do multiple times a day. So since I was working on the house and laundry, I thought I'm gonna go ahead and take the time. Plus, I love the way it makes the kitchen smell. It's just like nice and clean, and then if I put my hands on my countertops, they're not like dusty or crummy or anything like that. So I like to get those wiped down. So 
I keep talking about the dance competition um, and that's just because I was like in the moment of when I got back home I started cleaning immediately um, and like the first night we were there we were there about six hours the second day we were there about 14 hours and then I want to say the last day it was around like four hours so when I say I'm exhausted like filming this video I was so extremely tired and I'm just not editing this and I realized I grabbed the kitchen degreaser to clean all of my wood in my house so I went and checked it everything's fine that's what I love about those like non-toxic cleaners is that you really can't mess too much up um, but just in case you're watching this and you own those cleaners don't use the orange one on the wood it's actually the green bottle <laughs> I've been asked a lot before like why do I clean so much or how do I stay so motivated and basically I just learned that I'm a better like calmer person and a better mom and wife if my house is clean and tidy and not cluttered so I've learned to like declutter often and when I come home to a clean house my mood's just calmer like if I have to leave my house a mess or come home to my house a mess it really does affect my mood so I'm willing to do anything just to make Make sure I'm a better human being and if that's just cleaning up my house I'm definitely gonna do that so try it sometime like even before I leave my house to, to go on vacation I literally like vacuum myself out of my house my sister does it too so I'm not too crazy let me know down below in the comment section if you like to leave your house like spotless when you go on a trip or even out of town so when you come back home it's like coming home to like a nice sparkly clean home Woman, woman, no, I don't really care, I don't really care, yeah. Cause boy, it's time in your business. If I'm a mad woman. So my one big goal when I was filming this was to get as much laundry done as possible. So that's why you keep seeing these clips. I was just like overwhelmed with the amount of laundry I have. And typically I can do a load every single day, but since we were getting home late and leaving early, I just didn't even have time to get it done because I was just crashing as soon as we would get inside. I'm more like this again. I know it's loud because like the washer's going, the dryer's going, but here's an update. I think we're down to like three loads. I have this load, that load, this one I'll probably throw in another few items like blankets around the house that need to be washed, but since I had that at the competition, I want to get it clean and I don't try to put it in with a lot of other stuff just because it is like a big blanket. So we are moving, <laughs> not as quickly as I want to in laundry, but at least it's getting done. Now it is time to work on my office. It's another like catch all space, just like my mud room. Um, just because I work in here, I have a lot of products coming in and out of my house. And so it just gets thrown in there. Once again, I know I sound like a broken record, but we had been gone. So everything that was like being delivered to the house, I was just like chunking in my office. I didn't even have time to put it away. My parents and Chase's parents were checking on the boys. And so if we had anything delivered to our front porch, they were like, throwing it inside the entryway or like here in my office and so it felt good just to like get this room tidied up. It's a one space that I don't mind if I just like throw stuff in because I can shut the door but I know if I'm going to be editing in that space I try to always get it cleaned up before just so once again I'm just like calmer when I'm in there working. Keep calling me a mad woman For you to know your business If I'm a mad woman My guest bedroom typically stays really clean. I had a blanket in here that Savannah had thrown, so I just folded it, put it up in the closet, did a good vacuum, and this room was good to go. Other than like her dance stuff coming in and out, we're not in here a whole bunch. I don't know what I should do 
wish you would be right here with me My mind is filled with pictures Of when we used to dance But now I don't know where you are I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? Actually, while I'm editing this clip, I just remembered that I get asked about this laundry basket all the time and I've noticed that Wafer has it. So definitely check them out and hopefully it goes um, on clearance with like the clear out sale. If it does, I'm gonna link it down below in the description box because I know I get so many comments about it. Like every time you guys see it, it's just so nice that it rolls and it's also elevated up high. Like my back can hurt a lot or my shoulders. Um, so I just like having this, I can roll it around, I can dump it out. And like I said, it's not something that I have to like bend over and get all the clothes out of it from the very bottom. It's like up on risers. So I really love it. So definitely keep that um, in mind when you're shopping Wayfair. I messed it up and I should have treated you much better So much better I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I'm about to show you a clip. Savannah was watching her teammates perform. So it was like older girls. She wasn't in that part of the competition. We really wanted to stay, but I just had so much to get caught up on, but it was nice they had the live going. So she turned that on in the living room and plugged in her galaxy lights, which I love. So it's just like a whole vibe in there. It's always so nice when she does that. Um, and then I'm just in the background working. And then when one of our girls came up, I was able to watch it as well. I did not think I was gonna be able to get all the loads done, but I was able to. I will say the last load was like my towels, and so I just left them in there and thought I will work on it the next morning, but everything got put in the washer and then in the dryer. So it just felt so good to get all of that done. I don't think I showed all of it in this video because I was completely <laughs> exhausted and wiped by this point, but it did get done. And this is gonna be working on my patio and a front porch. They both need a refresh. They both need deep cleaning, especially this back patio. Um, George has been running around here all muddy. So we've got some serious stuff we need to work on. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a before picture so you can see what I'm working with. And we're gonna get straight into today's video. Okay, before I can begin decorating and refreshing this space, I definitely have to deep clean it. This back porch is way worse than my front porch just because George is back here and he plays in the mud and then he loves to like run circles on this sectional back here. Um, so we're gonna work on just taking this all apart, getting everything off the porch so I can like power wash it and just deep clean it before we put it all back together. Yeah. 
So here is an up close look at the sectional without the cushions. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't horrible, but there was a lot of leaves on it and bugs. So I definitely wanna get that cleaned off before summer when we're out here hanging out. I feel like that's what spring cleaning is all about. It's cleaning those areas that you just don't um, just over the winter and just giving it a nice refresh. Luckily the sectional does come apart into two pieces, but I'm having Chase help me just so I don't mess it up and it's kind of heavy. So you'll see Chase pop in and out helping me. Here is what the ground looks like. You can see one side where my coffee table was and then one side the sectional, that dirty part in the middle was our walkway. Um, you guys always want me to put a rug down here, but it just gets way too dirty to have a rug out here on our back porch with our dogs and the rain. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start by sweeping this all off because there was just lots of bugs and grass and all of that and I wanna get the ground nice and fresh. When you're sweeping the ground, don't forget to go up high. We get a lot of webs and bugs and just different things, dirt, and your broom can clean it so easy, especially in my white house. I have to do this kind of often, but it's so nice to do it when everything's cleared off. So before you grab your hose, if you're doing like a deep clean like me, just definitely grab that broom and get as much off as you can before you start spraying it. I wish the camera would have been on my face when I picked up this doormat. I had no idea how much grass was being stored in that thing. It just did not look dirty at all. So I'm gonna work on getting all that swept off, but I seriously had no idea. So note to self, I'm gonna start shaking that rug out a whole lot more often, but I seriously just had no idea. Now I'm gonna work on my sectionals and for these I just don't want to get wet because they are wicker and I don't know how long that's gonna hold up so I'm just gonna take my broom and sweep all of it off it did take a little bit of work just because of the wicker but it wasn't that much effort I'm so glad it's clean I guess I could have vacuumed these if I thought about it but it was cleaning up fairly easy so I just went to both pieces and just swept off as much as I could Next, I had Chase take off like our speaker and our decor off the wall. I am gonna go ahead and take the hose and wash all of this off and I didn't want any of those items to get wet. So we went ahead and got the hose and the nozzle on it. I put it on the strongest setting that I could in hopes to like power wash it. I need to actually probably get a power washer one day, but this works really well and I just start spraying it. It's hard to see from the camera, but brown was running down like on my white paint. So it was dirty, but the main purpose was to go ahead and just do um, the ground. It was so dirty and muddy just from George and us walking around. So I was focusing on all those areas just so it would be nice and clean and I was so thankful I ended up doing this because the next day it ended up being like 82 degrees and my whole family came over I would have been so embarrassed if they would have come over and it was how like originally So I was so thankful to have gotten this done But funny note the day after it was 82 ended up only being like 50 degrees So at least we got to enjoy this beautiful back porch for one warm day As you can see, George did not miss a thing. I was freaking him out when I was spraying the door with water. It was scaring him. You could tell he didn't know what was going on. I could not let him out here with the water. He would not have left me alone and he would have been playing in the mud. So he just had to watch from inside. I let him out when I was finished cleaning it, but he was right there supervising me the entire time. <laughs> Let's just do 
Okay, now I'm gonna start working on the outside of the windows. If you guys have seen my part one and part two, I told you guys I would be headed out here. If you haven't watched either one of those videos yet, definitely check them out after watching today's video. But I even show you on the inside how I like open it up and clean the windows because on that bottom part, there's a screen there. So it's really hard to clean it unless you open it from the inside. So if you wanna see how I do that, go back and watch those videos. But I'm just gonna be working on all the glass and getting it nice and clean. I'm so excited to have this part done too, just because the inside's nice and clean, but now the outside will be. So when I look through the windows, it's just going to be nice and crystal clear and I'll be able to see my beautiful clean porch. <laughs> Now we're slowly gonna begin to start putting this porch back together, which makes me excited because that means we're closer to the decorating part and I'll share some tips and tricks with you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. Right now we're just gonna put the sectional back in its place. Um, this is fairly easy to do. They're not too heavy at all. So it's just easy to pick up. It is like a two person job though, or at least with me, I'm sure Chase could do it by himself, but it's easier for him to help me. So we're just gonna lock those into place and then we're gonna go ahead and bring the coffee table back as well. Um, originally I had it in front of the sectional, but I'm gonna put it back over here by the window. I've had it here before and I just like, I like the location better. Sometimes I move it, you guys know me. I rearrange this back porch just like I do the rest of my house. And then I'm gonna put these cushions here for now, but they get moved later on too. Shocker, I know. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down this table just cause it was dirty as well. To me, putting cushions back on a sectional is like doing a puzzle. Let me know if you guys feel the same way. This one is a lot easier than the one inside because it's actually labeled, like some of them say corner, so I know where those go, but it's always just like trying to fit them in together and make sure they're in the right spot. Tags do help. <laughs> that was really nice on the corner pieces just to make it fit a little bit better, but I think we still put them in wrong and later you'll see me go back and fix it. So if you see a pillow that's messed up, don't worry, I'll fix it later. Now I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the sectional as quickly as I can, as you can see, plus I sped it up. But I am gonna go ahead and wash this with like soapy hot water. But before I do that, I wanna get as much off of it as possible. So I did use different attachments just to get as much off in those creases and stuff. It already looked better just vacuuming it. So if you don't have time to do a deep clean, at least vacuum it. But this was so brown from George. Like I said, I just filled up a bucket with soapy hot water and then used an old rag and it cleaned up so well. I was super happy with how it turned out. It didn't take long at all. So sometimes it's just like getting out there and giving it a deep clean. Then when we go to decorate, everything looks nice and new and pretty. You definitely don't wanna go out and just put all of your new decor on a dirty space. You'll be so thankful that you took the time just to get it nice and clean and fresh. So you'll have to let me know down below in the description box, have you started your spring cleaning yet? And if so, have you done your outside yet? I know we're all really good and focused on cleaning the inside of our houses, but it's always so nice to get the outside done before it gets super hot and humid. I love to do it when it's just nice and cool. As you can see, I have a long sleeve on and pants, but the weather was absolutely perfect. So let me know down below in the comment section, have you cleaned your outside yet?
Okay, now we're gonna be heading on to the best part of today's video, which is the decorating. I know that's why all you guys are here. And then another tip when it comes to decorating is sometimes you can't find outdoor pieces that you love. I shop indoor items and yes, I'll have to bring this in if it storms or gets super hot, but I love making my outside patios feel like a part of the house. We don't have a huge home, so I love just drawing those rooms out and making our home feel larger. So I will actually shop indoor decor and pillows table runners get creative and put those on the outside and it just makes your house feel so much more grand and so much bigger and those spaces will look so cozy and homey it's easy to speak out about the way i live but it's a 24 karat dream no supermodel in my dirty jeans but in my 24 and another reason that I like to shop indoor decor for outside, sometimes the outdoor decor is all colorful and bright and that's fine if you love color, but you guys know I like to keep it neutral. So I've just learned shopping the indoor stuff then I can kind of mix and match. So if I buy a piece and I don't end up loving it for the outdoors, I can just move it inside. So I try to do my decorating like I do my capsule wardrobe, is just make it where anything can go in any space and then I can rearrange as much as I want to. So here is how my back patio turned out. I absolutely love it. Yes, there's no color, but it makes such a statement with the pieces. I'm so impressed how it turned out. But now we're gonna head to the front of my house, to the front porch. This one isn't near as sturdy. First off, George isn't up there running around when he's muddy. Plus, I tend to work on this one a little bit more often just because when guests or company or friends come over, I like for it to be nice and clean. But I am gonna work on it just a little bit. I'm gonna get all that dead grass off and get it nice and clean before we decorate this space. Now I'm gonna grab my vacuum and work on this rug. I love having a rug out here. It seems so homey and Savannah loves to come out here and like have snacks or lunch or play with her dolls. I just love that it creates like an extra living room space. But I will say I feel super funny when my neighbors drive by or they're waving at me and I'm vacuuming my rug. And then you have to think I also have a camera pointed at me. So good thing all my neighbors know what I do for a living, but they were watching me over from their driveways. So it's always funny when I'm filming videos like this for you guys. Okay, the next space I'm gonna work on are these windows. So on the other side of these windows is my living room and we don't have your traditional blinds. Um, so we actually pull those shades up and you see the whole window. So I really like for these to be clean because there's no like wood blind slats hiding dirt. And so the cleaner these are, the more shiny it is and brighter in my living room. Um, so I like to just go ahead and get them nice and clean because I keep them clean from the inside, but sometimes the outside just gets really dirty. Um, it gets really windy here in Oklahoma, so a lot of dirt will get stuck to them. So I'm just gonna get them nice and clean so when I'm looking out from the inside, I can see straight through them. Another tip when it comes to decorating is think outside the box. Don't stay just in the home section. Walk around and try to get creative. This tabletop had gotten messed up from being outside. I could repaint it, I could do contact paper, but I was walking through and found this adorable little rug and it had these cute tassels and I thought what a cute little table runner it would be for that nightstand and that is an old nightstand just so you know. So I definitely try to get creative and use pieces in new ways. So this is a candle that I love. I had an old neighbor um, introduce them to me and I love them. I was so excited when I found them at JCPenney. 
but all you do is open them up and put a battery in it and then it has a timer on it so I don't have to come out here in the evenings and turn it on and off it does it all on its own but it has this flicker and it makes it look so real I'll be showing you guys here in a little bit how it looks at night so definitely stay tuned so if you want to see how it looks lit up but then I was thinking that tray that I put on the back patio would look beautiful up here so that's just what I do I rearrange until I get the spaces perfect so I went ahead and brought it up here and I'm so happy with how it turned turned out. It doesn't take many pieces just to make a space feel fresh. You just need a few new ones. That's all it took for my front porch and I'm so happy with it. Okay, I'm sure you guys are curious what I did with the back porch now. So since I took that tray, I just spaced out these candles. This is just like the one in the front, but they're shorter. They had all different sizes, all different sets. Seriously guys, I love those. I'll even show them to you inside my house here in a second. You can use them anywhere. They're great gifts, so definitely look into those if you stop by JCPenney. But I just put it out, and once again, that's a table runner that I have on the outside of my house. So it's just finding neat pieces and using them in new ways. But here are how the candles look lit. They look so realistic, especially when you're just like a few steps away and not right up on them. Such a cool invention. I seriously love those things so much. Okay, and here are how the candles look inside. I think they're gorgeous. Um, thanks again to JCPenney for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to shop them online. I'll have the link down below in my description box. And their sale is good now through March 25th. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the places that I like to spring clean and then I'm also going to be decorating for spring so definitely stay until the end. But this Sunday I'm also going to have another deep spring clean with me so definitely make sure you're subscribed so you see that one as well. But as you can see right now I'm working on my pillow covers so I like to take those off and wash them at least once a year if not more. I know my house looks super clean but between ivory sofas and white pillows I do have two dogs, a daughter, a husband. I wear fake tanning lotion. I have brown dry shampoo that lives in my hair all the time. So I can assure you these things get dirty. So I like to buy pillows that have a zipper on them so I can take them off and throw them in the washer anytime I need to. Now before I start that load of laundry, I'm gonna go grab the bed skirt off my daughter's bed. So this is the only um, bed in our house that has a bed skirt, but I like to wash these at least once a year. So that's why I added it to my spring cleaning list. I think it's something we forget about, but it does touch the ground and it can get dusty. So definitely just rip those off. If you like the one I have, I'll link it down below in my Amazon store. It's nice that it's not all the way underneath the mattress. It just kind of tucks in. So you can take it on and off without messing up the bed. Ooh, I, 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 
like I mentioned before, some of these pillow covers have like brown on them. It's either mud from my dog jumping up there or it's my dry shampoo or tanning lotion, but I'm using some spray and wash on them. I'm typically a shout girl, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. You'll have to let me know if you can find it in your area. I don't know if it's like a toilet paper thing where everybody just grabbed it, but I cannot seem to track down shout anywhere in my town. So I mentioned earlier in this video that I'm gonna have a deep spring cleaning video coming up this Sunday. This is gonna be one of the areas I'm cleaning. I swear I only wash my washer once a year. I should do it more often. Like I try to wipe it down, but it just gets dirty. And then I had a subscriber send me a really cool product that you put in it to clean it that I'm dying to try out. I'm gonna do it on camera so you guys can see my first reaction to it. But like I said, that's gonna be coming up this Sunday and you don't wanna miss it. And I believe you when everything is secret, secret. Everything is secret, secret. No more, no more. Hey, hey. Everything is secret, secret. No more. I'm sure most of us have heard by now that once a year you need to flip your mattress, but not all of us can do that. I feel like mattresses are getting fancy now or they have pillow toppers. So what you can do is at least spin it and that will help the longevity of your mattresses. I think mattresses are so expensive. So if you can flip it, flip it. If you can't spin it, and this will definitely just make the life of it last longer and it is a good workout. So you can consider that done when you're finished flipping all the mattresses in your home. Okay, so if you're new here, I wanna go ahead and introduce myself why I'm putting my daughter's bed back together. You didn't see me wash her sheets, but I don't consider that like a spring cleaning event. I do that weekly, so that's why I'm not doing that here. But if you're new, hello, my name is Ashley. I have one daughter that we homeschool. We were homeschooling before it was cool. Um, I'm married to Chase, and I do anything that's related to the home. So if you like cleaning or DIYs, or home projects on a budget, all sorts of stuff like that I'd like to do. Um, my Wednesday video that's coming up just in a couple days from today is actually how to paint furniture. And so I'm doing it from start to finish on how we like flip furniture. I did a lot of that before I started YouTube just to make extra money as a stay at home mom. And I made some really good money. So I wanted to show you step by step how I do that and how simple it actually is to do. So definitely be on the lookout for that video. And thank you so much for coming over from Breeze um, channel and coming to watch my video today. Now it is time to work on dusting. I'm terrible about dusting throughout the year. It's something so easy, but I just forget to do it. 
So I'm grabbing one of my like e-cloth tools to make it easier. Basically we have like a lot of molding around our doors and windows and I feel like there's a lot of ledges that dust can just fall onto. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of clean the top and then you'll notice I'm gonna just wipe down the baseboards. Now typically I would get like wet product and get down on my knees and actually scrub them but we've only been here about three months so they're not that bad. They're dusty but not dirty. So I'm just gonna skim over all of this and I wanna keep it clean before it gets dirty. So I'm not one of those channels that has like super satisfying, messy clean with me's. I think those are awesome, but I'm here more to teach you the routines that I use to keep your house clean just by doing a little bit every day. So I'm your girl if you wanna figure out routines that work, that are fast, that are simple, and then you're never spending like three hours on a weekend deep cleaning your house. So complicated. So going back to the point that I don't dust a lot, I realized that I was dusting with like a floor duster and not an actual like duster that just extends to get things up high. So once I switched over to this duster, it worked so much better. Plus this one bends a lot easier so I could get like the top of that molding. Like I said, I definitely don't dust all the time. I guess I need to figure out which products I actually use and how to use them. But as you can see, I'm just going around and anything I can reach, I'm just gonna run that across and get it dusted. If you're new here or haven't been around in a little while, um, the reason I don't have a dining room table is because I sold mine because I ordered a new one and then Oklahoma got hit with a really bad winter storm and everything got delayed. Um, but in this video, I actually get my new dining table and I'm so excited to share it with everybody. So that'll be coming up here in a little bit. So definitely don't click off yet. Okay, so some of you ladies are probably freaking out that I actually have a stove this dirty. First off, I normally don't let things get dirty. And secondly, I honestly don't cook all that often for it to get dirty, um, but we do use our kitchen. It was so funny. I had somebody write that they were so mad I bought a house with a kitchen. I didn't know you could buy a house without a kitchen, but maybe that's in a different country. But like I said, we were snowed in because of that big winter storm. So we did a lot of cooking and it got really dirty and I went ahead and saved it so you guys could see how I clean it when things do need a good deep clean. So I'm gonna start filling up my sink um, just with soapy hot hot water and I'm gonna add some Dawn to it just to help fight the grease. And I'm gonna put my oven, you know, burners, I guess you'd call them, um, in there. That is something super nice about when you have these big open sinks. I always get asked if I like it. It's really nice when you're cleaning things because if there was a divider on this sink, they wouldn't fit. Plus I think it's so cute when babies are in sinks like this. I wish I would have had one when Savannah was little. Be many nights I got too high and almost left town, but there's something about you. A little tip that I've learned is take your vacuum and just your handheld vacuum attachment and suck up all those like crumbs and food and dust maybe if it's like mine and just get it off your stove and it's gonna make it so much easier to clean and then you're not gonna scratch it when you're trying to rub your sponge into it because there's no like sharp objects on there. 
feel like this is so easy to do and it already makes such a huge difference. I also wanted to show you my burners in here soaking. I don't fill up the sink all the way. I just fill it up enough where they can soak. And then that top burner you can put upside down just so it's good and clean and in the water. And then here are all the products I'm gonna be using to clean my stove. I feel like this makes it so much easier. Like when your stove's gotten out of control and you're gonna have to use a ton of elbow grease, this is the way to go. Um, so I'm gonna link the drill brushes down below and they're gonna be in my Amazon store. I've been using these for quite a few years and they just make scrubbing so much easier. So if you're older or have arthritis or you just have like joint pain and you can't really scrub and get your stove or anything clean, you can use this um, in bathrooms, on your tubs. I've heard this works really good on your pots and pans. I may, may even try that in my next cleaning video, but it just takes all the elbow grease of scrubbing out. So definitely give those a try. So now that I'm finished like scrubbing it with the drill, I like to just get a wet rag. So any type of your kitchen rags and I'm just using the water, the hot soapy water that my burners are setting in. And then I just slowly start to like wipe away this cleaner. Then I can see if there's any spots I need to go back in with the drill. Some of it, I just need to take my nail and scratch off, but this just makes it so clean and so nice. And it takes way less time than if you were to scrub all that stuff off just by hand. Now for the next step, I like to go ahead and clean it off with a glass cleaner. Um, I prefer Jaws because it's non-toxic. I love all their products. I'm gonna have their link and coupon code down below in the description box if you're looking for a good one. And then I swear by this e-cloth polishing rag. It's for like windows and mirrors. You put those two together and it's like magic. <laughs> so if you have mirrors or anything that always has streaks on them, definitely get this rag. Um, and then like I said, the Jaws cleaners are amazing. So I'll have all those links and codes down below my description box. And now I'm working on like the top of the burners. So most of them I just wiped off. Sometimes I'll take the drill. Yeah, like right there, you can see if it's super dirty, I can drill on it and get any of the food off and then I'm just gonna pop them back on. So here's the before if you forgot what it looked like and then here is the after it just looks so much better.
stand by you when you're falling. When the now I'm going to use my Jaws Granite Cleaner. I use them on my quartz countertop. It works amazing. This is my favorite product and the smell is incredible just in case you're looking for one for like any of your stone countertops. But I'm just going to wipe them down. Obviously this isn't spring cleaning, but I've had so many products out on my countertops while I was cleaning the stove. I just want to get it all wiped away. Now, most of my light fixtures are still fine. Like I mentioned, we've only been here three months, but this chandelier has been with us over a decade and it was actually in my mother-in-law's house even longer than that. And while I've been really good about like dusting it probably once a year, I haven't ever really used a product on it. And I follow Shara Stevens and her mom on YouTube and Instagram and they recently moved here to Oklahoma and the mom was so sweet and she was actually cleaning all of the chandeliers that were in their new home, but it's an older home and so they were old chandeliers and I couldn't believe the difference it was making. So I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. And just in case you're curious, I'm just using my Jaws window like glass cleaner and then once again that e-cloth polishing rag. I cannot even begin to explain how much better this looks. It's hard because like on camera with lighting you just can't see. But if you have an old chandelier, just take like a window cleaner and then I used my e-cloth polishing rag. Even just use like a microfiber cloth. Oh my goodness. I feel like I've been missing out. We've had this for over a decade and this is the best it's looked. Cleaning the trash can is never fun and nobody's ever motivated to get it clean, but I feel like it's something that's so smart to stay on top of, especially if you have a nicer trash can and not just a plastic one that you can like hose down outside or replace easily. Um, we did buy this trash can and I love it. I'll have it linked below. I did so much research on this trash can. It's ridiculous. You can definitely tell I was adulting that day. But basically, I want to keep it clean. So I'm going to clean the outside. I cleaned the floors below it. You're going to see me clean the pedal and inside of it. But definitely just cleaning a little bit as you go keeps it from getting disgusting. And this it works with anything in your home. Just wipe it down pretty often, especially trash cans. Even if you do it once a year with spring cleaning, it's going to keep it better than if you don't touch it at all. And it's the trash can. It's getting dirty. So just do your part and get it clean. Okay, so this isn't a cleaning tip, but I recently switched over to red aspen nails. Um, I've done acrylic since I was in third grade. I've done dipping powder. I've done shellac. And the only thing that really lasts on me are acrylic nails, but they're so pricey and I got so sick of going to the salon. So I tried these out and they lasted two weeks and I literally had to peel them off to put new ones on. And that was only because I was bored with the color and wanted to change it up. So if you guys are interested in saving money and time from going to the salon, I'm going to leave my red Aspen link down below. So just check that out. They're amazing, amazing nails. But now I'm going to head on to the windows. So obviously this isn't spring cleaning. I have to wipe the inside of my windows all the time because my boys, my fur babies like to put their nose on it, but I'm needing to clean the outside of the window and I just feel like it's smart to get the inside clean so I can make sure I'm not missing a spot so I'm gonna wipe these down and then we're gonna head outside yes I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell you windows are actually really tall so for me to clean them I was gonna have to get a chair so I jumped on Amazon and found this affordable like window cleaner little doodad <laughs> and what's nice is you can get it wet and scrub everything down and then it has an attachment where you like scrape the water off it was so easy to use and it is adjustable 
I will say when I did this, they looked amazing at first, but I just used like water and dish soap. I wasn't thinking. I really need to just like spray my jaws cleaner on it, I think, and then wipe it off um, because they did get a little streaky. But as far as the tool goes, I was super happy with it. I didn't have to drag a chair around. It was affordable. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that for you guys just in case you have tall windows too. This would actually work on the inside. Like next time I'm gonna just try it with jaws and scrape them off and see how that works. We are starting to wrap up the cleaning part of this video. That load of laundry is done, so I'm gonna put all the pillow covers back on the pillows, and then I need to put the bed skirt back on Savannah's bed, and then it is time for decorating. So for me, that's always the best part of these videos. I love watching people decorate, and I love seeing what they choose for their home. And then you guys are gonna get to see my new dining table, so don't click off yet. So I really like these bed skirts that just wrap around. So basically it's like elastic. Now I will say this one's a little too big. I think this was a king size that I had on another bed that I just threw on this one. I probably need to go ahead and get one ordered that's a better size. But basically all it does is stretch around it. So you don't have to actually put it underneath your like box spring. It makes it easier to clean. It makes it easier to adjust. So like I said, I found this on Amazon and I'll have it linked down below. We finally made it to the part of the video where we get to start decorating, but I always like to show you a before clip so you can just kind of see like how it starts. You can see how I decorate it, and then I always show afters at the end. I always think these processes are so much fun to see if like anything's a huge change or if little changes add up. But here is our new dining room table. I'm so happy with it. We wanted one that filled the space just a little bit better, and then it also has a leaf in it. So when we're hosting Thanksgiving and Christmas, more family members can sit at it. But in today's video, I'm actually adding a lot of pink. So let me know down below in the comments section if you have been around long enough when we actually added pink to our old house so it's been a while so if you remember that you've been here a long time but it was finally time to add a little pop of color to this house um, sometimes I do it for Valentine's Day but I just wasn't feeling it but something about spring and warm weather coming got me so excited so I bought lots of different pink items I'm gonna try to remember to show you all the prices on the tag but anytime you see anything from Hobby Lobby I got it half off so all those flowers and different things were half off off um, but I cannot wait for you to see the very end hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the ground this will always align we lose track of time head up high now we climb oh, oh. 
feel like a really easy, inexpensive way to play around with color or texture or anything like that is just by buying really neat candles or hand soap. You can just kind of get an idea without spending a ton of money. So if you're like me and have all neutral or you're trying to switch colors out, start with just like a hand soap in a bathroom and like a hand towel. And that way you can kind of test the waters before you spend a whole lot of money on something. And another way to save money is create a lot of your own like DIYs. If I were to go in and buy an arrangement that's already made, it is so expensive. But I ran into Hobby Lobby, this was 12 bucks, I got it half off. And then I just grabbed one rose that was half off as well. And I'm gonna cut this down and adjust it and just make my own simple little flower arrangement. And it's so much cheaper than if I bought it pre-made. So sometimes just doing this stuff on your own, take a picture from Pinterest or from somebody else's house that you like and find a way to create it on your budget and you'll enjoy it and you won't feel guilty about it. And if it's beautiful to you, that's all that matters. So here is how the arrangements turned out. I did grab two of them since they were half off and both of these were under 10 bucks a piece, which I think is a steal. The pink is gonna add color. It's also gonna add a texture because of the design on the vase. And then I just love the little flower in it just to make it feel a little glam and springy. And so I'm just gonna put these out in my kitchen. Another affordable way to try out adding color or a pattern or something different to your home is by buying pillows. So these pillows for, are from at home. I show the price later on in the video, but I just picked up three and then I had this throw from my office. And then if I don't like it, I can return them. Just leave those tags on for a few days. Or if I do like it, I'm not committed. So if I only keep these for a month or so, it's not a big deal. Now, if I went out and bought all new pink furniture, I'm kind of stuck with it a little bit longer. So just by adding pops of it through pillows, throws, candles, hand towels, it's just an affordable way to have those pops of pink, but then I can switch it out whenever I'm ready. Trust in our wings to fly. So a lot of my inspiration came from Pinterest and Instagram accounts. I kept seeing these white faces everywhere, but they were so expensive. And I walked into my Ross and they had two of them for $25. So I grabbed them. And then once again, I picked up these really soft pink flowers from Hobby Lobby. I was trying not to go crazy pink, but a very subtle pink, because if you guys know me, I don't like a lot of color. So if I do it, I have to do it where it's just very simple and calming. And right now I'm just gonna make my own arrangement. If I were to have this done, it's like hundreds of dollars. So just go to Hobby Lobby, pick some stuff out. Um, you can just kind of cut the plastic and then inside is a wire and it's just kind of bendy and you can adjust it. You definitely rather cut it longer than shorter. So go longer and then you can always go shorter. And then at the end, I just start wrapping them up because you kind of need um, some thick, kind of down there in the vase and it keeps everything from moving or sliding around. So you can just kind of roll it up like I did. And like that, we made a whole arrangement. I did two of those. I'm gonna show you both of them here in a second and I'm so happy with how they turned out. Just a reminder, I never want you to think you can't have a beautifully decorated home because of your budget. You can do DIYs, you can flip furniture. I've done this my whole married life and I try to share a lot of that here on YouTube. That's kind of why I started my channel is 
I was a stay-at-home mom that did not have a big budget and people always ask me how my home was so well decorated and it was on a very tight budget. So even for instance, our new dining room table, we sold our last one for $700 and we found this one on sale for 400. So typically when I'm rearranging or redecorating, whatever it is, I'm making money off of it. I've just learned how to flip pieces, how to buy them on sale. So when I resell them, we're not losing money. You definitely just have to get creative. And for me, that's fun. Like I love decorating. So I love finding those bargains. I love creating pieces that I found at garage sales. So if you're a stay at home mom or you're not, and you're wanting a beautiful home, just because you don't have a huge budget does not mean you can't do it. So definitely just get inspired, find those accounts you love, snap those pictures, and then find a way to make it happen within your budget. Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to today's video. We are spring decorating today. I'm so excited. I love my decorating videos, whether we're working on a space like a room makeover or if it's just a new season and we're freshening up. I just love a change in my house and trying new things. And I feel like when new seasons come, it's just a really good time to do it. So the first place we're gonna start is right here in my entryway. One, two, three, let's get it. The first way I styled this was with a like plaid pillow and I know it looks calming and neutral, but to me it was just too much. So this front pillow, I loved the texture, but I went ahead and threw in my original just like solid pillow in there and I just felt better for me and felt right. I will say spring is the time we start pulling out all those fur items, but I just love the setup of this. We're still having a few chilly days here in Oklahoma, so I'm not ready to let it go yet. But now we're gonna head on into my living room area and I'm gonna be pulling out all my winter greenery. So this is greenery you saw me decorate with for Christmas. It is time for it to go. I'm excited to grab my spring florals and just bring some life to this space. Let's get it started. Are you ready? Here we go. Anytime I'm working with florals, if I don't have to cut the stem, I don't. I just bend it. Now, if you need to cut it because it's just way too tall and they're getting too like tangled at the bottom, you can. But I like to know that if I want to put this in a tall vase later, that's still an option. So that's just one hack to help you out. Another tip is if you're using faux florals or faux greenery, especially if it's been shipped to you in a box, make sure you fluff that up, open those flowers. It's just gonna make it look a lot more realistic. Now it's time to add some pillows to my sectional. I was a little bit nervous because I've loved the just like monochromatic pillows on my sectional and it's just been so clean especially after Christmas I feel like you just want things like simple and not bold and these are a little hint of green in them they also have a pattern but I felt like it was the perfect mix for me so you can tell there's a pattern to them you can tell like in person I don't know if you can tell on camera there is a slight green to them but it's still done in a calming way that I feel like I can handle you could go back inside to never test my limits Nothing you say will fix it I'm 
Now another option is to add like a bold color behind it. So I picked up these green pillows that would pull out the green in the front pillow. So it looks really good, but I go with more the neutral vibe, but I wanted to show you the difference right here. I am gonna use the green pillows later on in the video, but just not right here in my living room. So stay tuned if you wanna see where those end up. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a good time to switch out your fur blankets or fur pillows. I haven't found a good option for the entryway yet, but I did in here for our living room. And you can still have those blankets out. They still make your home feel inviting and cozy, but maybe just like less thick where they just go on you when the AC's on and you're a little chilly, but you don't wanna get too hot. I just feel like finding a good knit blanket that still has some weight to it. It still looks high end, um, but it's just not fur is a good way to balance it out um, if you're used to like decorating with a blanket somewhere in some space. Once again, I'm removing the winter greenery and adding spring, but this stem was just too long. I even tried to cut it myself, which you're gonna see next, but I couldn't. So I had to bring in backup and Chase took it out to the building so he could like saw it off. Okay, now we're gonna kind of switch gears. I'm waiting for the sheets to get done washing and drying before I can put them on. So I'll show you a little bit later in today's video how it all turns out. The ones that were on my bed though were already Brooklyn and just so you know, I love having two sets for each bedroom just so when I I'm switching my sheets or guests are over or Savannah, I can just immediately put clean ones on when I take them off. So that's what I'm doing there. But now Chase was able to cut this um, like big stem down. It had like five rods in it. So it was not gonna let me cut through it. So I was glad he was able to. And I feel like it looks perfect in this bathroom because there's not a lot in here. It's white, it's simple. There's no like wall cabinet. So I feel like it just really fills up the space. Since I ended up using that big old twig, I call it a twig, I feel like it's a branch. Since I ended up using that branch in our powder bathroom, I'm gonna do something a little bit different here in our dining room than I was expecting. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all these stems separated so I can start arranging them in the vase. I'm really into like weeping stems right now. Like I love when they kind of like droop over kind of like a weeping willow tree. Um, so I feel like I'm gravitating towards that when I'm buying stuff. I just feel like it just looks so like romantic and airy. I don't know what it is. Like sometimes I like things like straight up and full, but I'm really loving like the overflowing of stems right now. I was loving how this turned out, but it did seem like super bright in here. I felt like there was a lot of brightness, but not a lot of like black or color. And so I wanted to ground it a little bit. So I grabbed those green pillows that I ended up not using on my sectional and threw them right here at the captain's chairs, which I felt like made those dress up a little more. Now, obviously if someone's sitting there and they're not gonna use those, but right now we don't have a lot of company over when we do, we're like eating at the bar or like outside or in the living room. So we could always toss them if we need to, but I feel like when you just come in, it looks really cool. It looks really grand and I love the dark color in there. 
By this time, my sheets were done in the dryer, so I went ahead and grabbed them out, and I'm gonna finish decorating this space. This space was really white like the rest of my house, so I thought since I'm adding some greens to the other spaces, maybe I should add some greens in here for my company, which is basically my sister and brother-in-law or Savannah's friends. But it really is cool when you add green into your spaces, how much life it brings, even if it's not living, like even if it's not a real plant, just adding moss to your trees or green pillows. It's just such an easy way to add life and color into a space without it being overbearing if you're like me and you thrive in neutrals. Once again, I couldn't handle the green pillow, so I'm switching it out, but we are keeping the plaid this time. Since this is in our guest bedroom, I feel like you can get away with a little more than you can, like the entryway that you see every day. So I'm trying to keep that in mind, but now I'm gonna start putting the sheets on the bed um, so you guys can see all of this come together. I have a few more decor pieces, and then I'll show you how the room turns out. I will say if you guys see me make my bed versus my guest bedroom bed. So in our bedroom, we don't use the top sheet. It's just so much easier to make the bed. We got used to living without it and it's so nice. But in our guest bedroom, we still have it. I think guests would think we we're crazy if we didn't. And so we go ahead and use it in this space. Ready for that hot break? If you have not switched to a duvet cover yet, here is your sign to do it. I feel like washing your comforter is so hard. I even have a really large like oversized washer and dryer and my comforters fit, but they still take so long to dry. And even after I put them in like three cycles of the dryer, I still have to lay it underneath the fan to like get where it's like cramped in there versus having a duvet cover that you just throw in like a sheet. It, you can wash it with your sheets, you can dry it with your sheets. So it's just like one quick load. It dries really well. Then you can clean it more often. You don't have to take it to like um, the laundromat or have it dry cleaned. I feel like it is so convenient. Like, yes, you have to put it on and off, but you don't have to wash it every time, kind of like you wouldn't wash a comforter. But when you need to, it is so easy. The other thing that I love about Brooke Linen pillowcases is it has this like tab or flap in it that it covers the pillow. So no matter which way you put your pillow on your bed, you can't see the pillow or the tag. So I feel like that's just a very high-end touch. You can see right here in the sunlight just how beautiful <laughs> that bedding is and the sheets. Um, another point I want to make towards having a duvet cover is when you have company stain, um, it's just nice that you can clean it and they're not using the same like comforter. So like even if like Savvy has friends in here and then my sister comes or we have other family or friends come, it's just nice that everything can get clean and nothing's having to be reused. Looks like you're changing and all. There's something about springtime. I feel like it's just the time to invest in sheets. I don't know if it's just because we're freshening up everything and getting everything clean. Just always sets the tone in a space and it just feels right. But here is how the room turned out. I love it with the pop of green. Check back with me in two weeks or a month and see if it's still in there. But as of today, I'm loving it. I was talking to earlier how I love like weeping stems and I just felt like something was off with this black vase in here. Like I love those flowers and I ended up moving them to another location, but in this particular spot, it just didn't feel right. And so I'm gonna do a little bit of stem itch to switching and make sure everything's where it's supposed to be and just looks best.
I know some of you are curious or taking bets how long this green phase is gonna last. I will say it's subtle, so I think it'll last a little bit. But if you wanna know, I am gonna be doing like a spring home tour at the end of the month. So if you wanna see if it even makes it to that, because I don't even know if it will. I feel like sometimes I just wake up and start like yanking things down. But definitely be on the lookout for that spring home tour video. And if you're new here, definitely hit that red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and it'll alert you anytime I post. So if you wanna be on the lookout for that video, definitely make sure you have that bell checked and so it'll notify you when I post that and you guys can place bets now. Is the green gonna be up or is it gonna be gone? So I thought this would be perfect right here in our mudroom area, but when I put it up, the flowers are prettier looking down at it and not looking up at it. Does that make sense? Like all I could see was leaves. So I was like, okay, that's not it. I knew I had this greenery in my office, which is still very springy. It really didn't go with my winter theme, but I never switched it out. Um, so I'm gonna move that greenery into the mudroom area and I'm gonna put these beautiful flowers here in my office, which actually makes more sense because I love them. And now I can see them every day while I'm working and editing at my computer. Now I do want to mention you can decorate for spring without like bunnies and eggs and all of that. If you love it, go for it. That's not my style. So I'm kind of showing you the high end spring decorating. It's more through textures and colors. However, right here in our mudroom bench area, I always go a little more festive. So I have carrots, I have bunnies, I kind of have all that, but it's just in this one little area so I don't get sick of it as easily. So keep that in mind. If you don't want it everywhere, but you have kids, you can pick your mantle or a mudroom area or just a space like a playroom or something like that where it's just easier to like keep it condensed down and then you can decorate however throughout the rest of the space. Um, I do want to add some moss to all of my trees. I feel like it's making it feel alive. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to a few trees throughout the house. I was loving the texture so much of this greenery. I can't tell you what it is. It's kind of like my vases that have bubbles in them. Oh, kind of like what I'm working on right now on the coffee table. I don't know, I just really loved the texture and it was a little bit of a lighter green versus the darker green that I had out for winter. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover up my dark green so that this kind of like stands up tall in the centerpiece. And then when winter comes around, if I wanna take out all the like spring greenery, I have that underneath. So I could do that with all like my trees I just put it in and um, this like bowl on my table. Right now I'm gonna be putting it in my tree right here in my kitchen. So I just feel like if it's too much for winter, I can just take it off and then I have what I need underneath it. Another thing I like to freshen up in the spring is our hand towels. I just feel like they can get so dirty and so used and so worn. And it's something that doesn't cost a lot, but it makes a big impact in like small bathrooms. And I feel like most bathrooms are pretty small. So just by freshening those up, um, it just helps make the space feel clean. If you have dirty hand towels, even if they've been clean, but they're stained or ragged, they just don't look like it anymore. And I love using like um, kitchen hand towels that are a little more detailed versus bathroom hand towels. So you can see right there the bathroom hand towel versus like a kitchen hand towel They're just a little bit more elevated and make the space look nicer and they're not that much more So definitely check that out if you're decorating 
But now let's look back and see everything we worked on today's video. You'll have to let me know your favorite space. Is it the mud room, the powder room? Um, we did the dining room, we did um, the guest bedroom, and we did the living room. So let me know which space you like best. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and hanging out with me. Um, like I said earlier in the very beginning of this video, I love my decorating videos. So I hope they inspire you and motivate you. And I hope you work on your home very soon. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.